on paving. I like to race cars. I drive a Shelby GT500. It's a 5.8 liter. Makes about 900 horsepower. It's a work of engineering. It's a piece of art and it represents me. I started off as a go-kart racer back in the day when I was a kid and after I got to the States I saw a lot of people racing their cars and I started racing on the track. That's when I fell in love with drag racing. How awesome is it to be in a country where we can have the freedom to do what we're doing right here, folks? Get ready, there's some race action coming your way. And it won't be long now. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but got to do my best. All of my crew means a lot to me because they have as much input as I have on my car. Ease into it, keep the RPMs up, just like we talked about, okay? The car is ready implies the team got it ready. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with my I was just watching how the other cars were doing and, you know, analyzing what they've been doing, how it's been reacting to what kind of power. And kind of estimate how the track is going to react to your car based on what you see. So the car comes up and that's what you want it to do. You want it to come up. When you shift, you want the spring, you don't want the spring to compress. You want it to come up. And when you shift, to hold the car so you can keep going. So you're not having that back and forth momentum. Let's see if I find a video. I like to race because all that adrenaline, you know, rushing through your brain, your eyes, your body, your hands, your feet, is something, you know, only a race car driver can experience. You roll that window up, nothing matters except what we're doing. After I fired up the engine, Felt like I was ready. The car sounded great. That was perfect. Once it's on, it's like, whoa, it's on. I try to strictly restrict myself as a driver against the track and not worry about my competition just because that's the last thing I want to be worried about. Me personally, as a driver, I'm worried about doing my best out there. I pull up and now all I'm worried about is the tree in front of me and the, the final finish line. That's all I'm looking at, nothing else. shifted to third and all of a sudden it started squirreling and uh, that is something every racer is actually scared of. Fortunately, nobody scraped paint. The box body going on to the next round. It was not what I expected, but I got lucky. <laughs> you saved it, dude. That was a hell of a drive. I don't care, dude. Hey, the car's in one piece, all right? And I was cheering, and everybody's like, why are you cheering? Because Pavement didn't hit the wall. <laughs> I was happy, bro. I was happy. I like gravity. I like gravity. Had I not fishtailed, I would have won the championship. That's what any race car driver intends to do, and that's what in his mind he's going to win. And if you don't think that you're going to win, you're never going to win, even though you're capable of it. It's about seeing the whole picture.